Hey y'all, so it's a few days later. Today is Saturday and I meant to pick up the vlogging camera or my phone earlier this week, but the plans I had involved leaving the house and since y'all saw it was snowing, that didn't happen all week. So I haven't left the house since Wednesday. The only times I've left this week were Tuesday to go to Whole Foods and I took my mom's car after she got back from work so I wouldn't have to dig my car out. And then Wednesday I did the same thing to go to the gym. So we are snowed back in because the driveway is fully like snowed over and no one wants to shovel. So might be stuck here again today. I have a massage appointment tomorrow. So I definitely plan to leave the house tomorrow one way or another. And then I might get one of the things I didn't do earlier this week after my massage, like take some stuff to the donation center um i think i showed you guys the other day that i put a bunch of my like old kitchen stuff to the side of stuff i want to donate stuff i want to um, bring with me in my car and stuff that i like may or may not keep here so that was one of the things i wanted to do earlier this week which i did not get to and then i also wanted to go to the bank and get some certified checks for paying the deposit and paying my first month's rent when i get there i have to like do that in person and then I also wanted to go get my car inspected just to make sure everything is in tip top shape since I'm driving over a thousand miles alone and I don't know what the weather is going to be like either. So fingers crossed I get there in one piece. I'm more worried about, I mean, I'm not worried, but obviously it's a bigger concern to get me and my car there safely than my stuff. Like I want my stuff to get there safely too, but it's just stuff. So anyways, all those things are going to happen either tomorrow or sometime next week. I'm getting down to the last couple weeks which is crazy and right now because I've done a lot in terms of like purging and sorting stuff and figuring out what I want to bring with me I don't really have much left that I can do at home so I don't really know like how much more I'm gonna be able to film until it gets closer and I get to start like shipping stuff off and packing my car up which is the exciting part but I figured I would maybe try and do a couple smaller things with you guys today before I wrap up this vlog and go to edit it so I can post it tomorrow. But what I have in mind is going through some of the areas in my room where I just have like stuff stored and like little boxes and little, you know, corners and figuring out what smaller things I want to pack to ship to myself or bring with me just so I don't forget them or feel like too scatterbrained later. And I already have a few things in mind that I want to pull while they're on the top of my mind. So I figure I'll just show you guys that. Um, but that's about it. Like I said, I don't really have much else that I can show you guys. And if I go to the donation center tomorrow, I'm not going to film it for this video, but I might film it for the next. So we'll see how that goes. But let me get to the sorting and putting stuff aside. Okay, so I saved this Osea box from the package I got from them a few months ago because it's nice and sturdy and I feel like this is the right size for me to fit just some smaller stuff in. So if I at least just put them in here to set them aside, that's good enough, but it probably should be a good box for shipping them too. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff like in my drawer here. I'm not going to show it all to you because it's just a bunch of junk, but I want to make sure that I set some stuff aside that I'm all, I know that I'll want in my new desk. And just like other random stuff I have in here, like these greeting cards from Trader Joe's that I'm going to want with me. So I will start setting that stuff aside and then I may have some other stuff over here that I need to go through as well. <laughs> So I think I've shown you guys this area already, but up here I have 
my little essential oils and some crystals, my Palo Santo, and then in these I have random stuff stored. So here are some random like sarongs and scarves and towels and like yoga mat towels and stuff like that. So not sure how much of that I'm going to bring, but that will go in a separate box like with clothing and stuff. And then these are bikinis, so that will also go in a separate box with clothing. Down here I have a bunch of paintings that I've made that I used to hang in my studio and that I just moved back with me and that I really don't use or look at. And I don't really have anywhere else to store them and I don't want to bring them with me because that's just extra space taken up for nothing. Because I'm obviously going to paint more and I also just don't want to bring old stuff with me. And then this drawer is kind of like a junk drawer and I've already gone through and kind of gotten rid of stuff that I don't need. So I have less to go through, but there's still a lot of stuff in here and I feel like I can already pack some of it away. Like these shocker cards, I don't think I'm really gonna be using much of. Um, these tarot cards I used to use more often and I still really love them. So I'm definitely gonna bring them with me, but I haven't been using them that much. So I might pack them in here, but they're also really heavy. So I might find another place for them. But just for now, I'm going to put them in here so that I don't forget them. And then what else do I have in here? I have this pack of really cute decorated um, playing cards from Target that I haven't opened, obviously. So I want to bring those with me to use. And then I just have a lot of random stuff in here. Like I have some stuff to make waist beads, like little waist beads. <laughs> this random little um, game. I don't know. I bought this last year and I made it once and it's kind of boring to be honest so I don't think I'm gonna bring that with me. I have this little puzzle which I have not ever used before and which I probably will have more space to do when I move but I don't know if I'm gonna pack this with me right now. And then I have a sad lamp which I probably should be using more because it's been really dark and gloomy here. And then I have some, some really random stuff in here. I have a bunch of um, incense sticks. I use the Nag Champa one, which is a very like just traditional one. I think it smells the best. So I have a bunch in here. Also have another whole pack in another place that I'm gonna get to after this. So I'll probably pack those. And what else? Oh, and then I have this bag, which is literally a Crown Royal bag, but I keep my camera stuff in here. So right now I have my Polaroid or Fujifilm Instax camera in here and I only ha I think I just found another thing of film so I'm gonna bring this to my going away dinner so I can take cute little pictures and then I also got this recently from Target it's like a refillable just cheap film camera so I used a whole roll on Thanksgiving and then I've been using another one since then so we'll also bring this to my going away dinner so I don't want to pack this stuff away yet but I do want to make sure that it is accessible. So I think I'm just going to put those couple things in there from here and then we'll move on to the next little section. Okay, I figured I would just bring it to me because it's literally just one box. This is from like Michael's, I think. It obviously matches my decor really well, but I think I'm going to leave the box itself here. And what I have in here is a bunch of random stuff. So I have some candles in here that are like smaller that um, they're still like candle in so they can be everywhere. And then I just have like my lighters. I have some candles in here, which I literally never smoke, but I bought last summer and I've just had sitting in here. So I'll probably bring those with me, but I don't want to ship them. I'd rather like bring them with me. And then I have more incense and more Palo Santo. So since I have this Palo Santo already, I'm just going to pack the rest of these in here to bring with me. And then I also want to pack this other box of Palo, not Palo Santo, the incense that I was telling you about, the Nag Champa. But it's very like, like strong smelling, even in the box and in the plastic in there. So I'm going to grab a Ziploc bag from downstairs to wrap it in before I put it in here, but I'll go do that after I finish talking. And then I don't know where or when I got these, but these are so cute and I never use them. They're just in this box. So I definitely want to pack these with me so I can start using them to light candles and stuff. And then what else? I know I have another type of lighter in here. Like this is like a regular lighter with lighter fluid <laughs> but i have one of those lighters that uses like a little electrical pulse to kind of like light it 
electrically, I guess. So I'm gonna find that and put in here because I would rather bring that with me and then I can get another one of these if I need to. But I just kind of want to leave most of this stuff in here because I know I'll use it when I come back home to visit. Okay, so a lot of this desk stuff I'm gonna have to pack in a bigger box because I want to bring this um, dry erase calendar. I need to bring like this um, keyboard and the mouse and then I'm gonna bring like this little thing and I was debating if I wanted to bring all this but I think I'll just leave it because most of that is stuff I don't really need and it matches the decor and I'm trying to think about what I can leave here to make my room still feel like homey and vibey when I'm gone or not when I'm gone or like when I come back because I know I'm moving a lot of like my plants out of here whether I'm bringing them with me or just moving them downstairs and I feel like the whole vibe of the room is plants so I don't want to take away everything that will like be that vibe if that makes sense and these stuff have plants on them like this stuff is all plants and I mean most of the decor I'm leaving but I feel like this for instance will leave like a big hole so to kill two birds with one stone and have something to replace it with and also something to kind of occupy my time while I'm restlessly waiting to move, I decided to make a few more paintings that I can put up there that will match the color scheme and the plant vibe. So they are not done yet. My hair is what I'm working on. Um, so basically this one on the left is a hanging plant and I still need to paint on the like leaves of the hanging plant. And then the middle one, I forget what kind of plant it is. I have one in my room, but I need to draw in like all the details of the green on the pink leaves. And then this one on the right is mostly done. I just have to draw like one plant-esque shape over it. But I feel like that will be a perfect fit here to fill the space and just kind of, again, go with the color scheme. So that'll be cute. But to be honest, I don't know how long my family will end up staying in this house. Um, in case you're new here, my dad passed away last year and he was the one paying the mortgage. So it kind of like transferred onto us. And because my older brother already moved out, obviously my dad's gone and I'm moving out. It will just be my mom and my little brother and sister here in this big, huge house, which again, it's not like the nicest house, but it's pretty big. So we'll see how long they end up staying. But for now, they're not going anywhere. So my room is still my room and I would like to treat it as such and just leave everything that I can here so that for all the time that I have remaining in this space in these next few weeks and whenever I come to visit while they're still living here that I can just like enjoy it to its fullest potential because I feel like at the point in which I'm like donating stuff or getting rid of it I might as well just keep it here until I have to leave and have to get rid of it so that's my rationale but I'm definitely excited to like start fresh in my new space and have new surroundings new decor new everything and then come back and still have it feel like me and feel like home for all the stuff on my bedside um organizer shelf whatever you want to call it it's not really a nightstand but i've been using it as such i have a bunch of stuff that i use every night in here and like my bonnet and my sleeping mask i think i'm gonna get a new sleeping mask when i move just because this one's kind of old and i'd rather just be able to leave it here and then I think most of the stuff and a lot of the stuff on here I'll put in this little toiletry bag that I use as like my nighttime routine bag. And then I probably won't bring much of this stuff. It's just like old prescriptions and supplements I don't really use. I have a little tin right there of edibles, which I'm going to bring with me. And then I have these Alice mushroom chocolates, but I just packed the new ones that they sent me in that box. So I'll probably leave these here and or like have them until I move and then I have like my journals here that I'm still using so I'll definitely pack that in my bag that I take in my car but obviously I'm still using it so I'm just gonna leave it there for now okay so in my closet I've shown you guys this already but I have some random like organization bins I think most of the stuff I'm gonna leave because it's not really stuff that I need in there I have jewelry but it's not really jewelry I wear often so I'll probably leave that too and in there I have my sunglasses so I'll probably go through and see what I can find from there that I want to bring and then of those two sheet sets I'll probably bring this one and then leave that one in the corner and the one that's on my bed now and I think I'll ship that but not in the small box obviously so there may be a couple things that I want to bring from um one of these but I don't think I'm gonna do that right now just because I don't feel like it Hey y'all, it is Sunday. I just finished getting a massage, which you can probably tell by all the lines on my face. And I think I'm gonna go get some sushi right now. 
sounds so good. Um, I'm gonna go to this place that I have been to a lot of times, but I just haven't been in a while. And I don't know what I like about them, but I had this one like lunch solo date there before where I got some hot green tea and sat at the sushi bar and it was just so relaxing. So I always um, like going back there to try and get that vibe. So I think I'll do that. I'll get some hot green tea, some miso soup, a little sushi roll, and then I need to go drop some stuff off at um, the thrift store, like my kitchen stuff that I want to donate. And I probably will end up having to go back, or if not, like before I leave, maybe just leave it to be donated by someone else later. I don't know. But I definitely want to do that just so I can clear some of the space in the dining room which is so cluttered which y'all saw in my last packing video and also just kind of like visually reduce some of the stuff that I need to figure out how to fit in my car and then also because I feel kind of indecisive about certain things just kind of like get it out of the way so that I don't have to sit here going back and forth on whether or not I want to bring it with me so I'm just gonna do that get some stuff out the way and then really just gonna chill the rest of the day. I plan on going home and washing my hair, which is now oily from this massage. And um, that's about it. So I'm really just going to do the sushi and donation thing in this video. And then I'll probably pick it back up later this week whenever I do something else that's packing or moving related. <music> So I'm pretty much home. I just pulled over, which I'll explain in a second. But I just realized I completely forgot to show you guys what I was donating or like show me donating it. That was like the whole point of filming today. Um, it was just so cold that I was like trying to get it in the donation bin and just get back to my car. But the reason I pulled over is because I've been crying on the way home. Not because I'm sad to leave, but because I've been so stressed out about stupid family drama the last like few days slash week and I don't really want to get into details but it's just a perfect reminder of why the hell I'm leaving and as much as I'm grateful to have been able to live with my family the last few years and not like be homeless I just can't express enough how crucial it is if you have a family that's dysfunctional or toxic or just not contributing to your overall well-being and growth to get out like do what you can and get out take action leave do whatever you need to do to get out and get your own place because it is worth it your mental health and your well-being are priceless and you will figure it out you'll make it work if i can do it then you can do it so just wanted to send this reminder to anyone who is also struggling or feeling discouraged i normally don't film myself or talk about myself crying even though i do cry a lot just know that but I thought this was a good thing to include because there's obviously a lot of reasons people move and a lot of emotions come up before moving during the move after whatever for me it's all excitement for the move and I just feel like the universe is kind of testing me by throwing some more drama in before I leave just to remind me of why the hell I'm going so that's where I'm at right now and I'm about to go home in a minute after I feel like I've gotten my little cry out and go wash my hair and just relax for the rest of the night. So I'll see y'all later this week. Hey y'all, it's a few days later. It is Thursday today. It's a very rainy, gloomy day and I'm being very lazy today because I only have one client at four and then acupuncture. So I'm pretty much spent all day on the couch with my dog. I went on like a follower removing spree on Instagram because I realized when I was sending demographics to a brand that I had 30% male followers and that's just not gonna fly with me. A, because the whole point of like my content is to build a community of like-minded women that are into travel and nice things and wellness and health and mental health and all that and B, I don't need creepy dudes lurking on my shit so they had to go. I deleted over 600 followers, which is definitely a lot considering I had less than 3,000 to begin with, but good riddance. I'd rather clear the space for followers that are more aligned with me. Same way that, you know, I'm starting at my new practice after I move and I already have a bunch of clients that have reached out to me that are really aligned with like my whole spiritual holistic approach. So I just feel like clearing space is the name of the game this year, calling in what serves us. So on that note, I'm finally dressed and heading out of the house to run a couple errands related to the move. 
The first one is to get my certified checks or money orders for the security deposit and the first month's rent that I have to bring in person when I move in. And then I need to go right next door to Giant Pharmacy and pick up my migraine prescription, which I tried to call in like three months worth of the other day and they didn't say if they were gonna do three months, they just told me it's ready, so I guess we shall see, but let's go head over there. Money order and cashier check secured. I had to do a cashier check for the more expensive one because it was over a thousand for the rent and then the security deposit was only 99 so i got to do a money order the money order was five dollars and the cashier check is 10. like why do we have to pay to get our own money it's so stupid <laughs> and it's literally just a piece of paper that's printed it's not like they have to do anything but whatever anyways i'm glad i got that done that was definitely a big thing on my to-do list obviously i need to be able to pay so i can actually move in and I had a really nice combo with the woman who was helping me, just telling her about my moving plans and what I do for work. And it was just very a nice little interaction. And I'm sure it's a lot more interesting when you're watching a YouTube video when they actually like film that stuff. But I honestly think that's kind of weird. And I'm just not really the type of person to pull my phone out while I'm having an interaction, especially with a stranger like that. So you just have to believe that what I just told you is what happened. And now I'm gonna go see if I can get my prescriptions and I'm praying that it's three months. Also, on the way over here, I called the mechanic that I've been going to for a little while that my dad used to go to and like other people in my family have gone to so he like knows us really well. And I asked him how much it would be to do like a full car inspection with like an oil change, checking the tires, fluid levels, just like making sure everything is good to go for my road trip. And originally I was going to go to this other tire place I'd been to before years ago where they had like a $40 special and I called and it was 55 now and it's also like further away and that was just going to be a hassle. So I was like, let me just call our mechanic and he said that he would do the inspection for free so that's awesome obviously if like fluids and oil and stuff needs to be replaced or anything needs to be repaired that will be extra but the fact that i don't have to pay for the inspection is great and it's also a more convenient location so love that for me love that things are falling in place and we're getting close now y'all it's 11 <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's go get that prescription. Okay, so the bad news is that they only had one refill. Who is surprised? Not me. But they said that if I call them back and give them the fax number again to submit the request, they will do that. So hopefully they can get that done and like get it approved so I can get grab it before I leave in 11 days. But obviously I don't want to be coming here the day I'm leaving. Not gonna have time for that so 10 days but hopefully that can work out worst case i can just have my mom or my brother come fill it for me and like ship it to me while i'm gone because i think i'm gonna try and just keep maryland medicaid for as long as i can since honestly i've had it for years even when i had other insurance through work and i don't really know what the deal is going to be with insurance when i move to florida and i just don't want to have to figure that out really the only thing i use my insurance for at this point is this migraine medication which unfortunately i just have to take when i get migraines nothing else works i've tried every other possible remedy under the sun so please don't recommend anything and there are so many different causes of migraines that i've like tried to address and i'm still working with my holistic doctor so please don't diagnose me or recommend anything i need the migraine prescription but hopefully not forever and i just hope that i'm able to get enough so that while i'm in florida i'm not getting migraines that i can't treat because if you've ever had a migraine you know how miserable it is and if you've never had one then seriously you have no idea what it's like but I'm gonna go home because I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat lunch. Maybe I'll take my dog on a walk. He is so dirty right now from going in like the muddy snow the last couple days. And he can't go to the groomers until after I take him for a shot on Monday. So just a dirty little puppy. And anyways, I'm gonna go home and do that. And I don't know if I'm gonna get anything else done today for moving related stuff. So if I don't pick up the vlog camera, my phone again today then i'll see y'all next time i'm doing something moving related okay i just finished work for the day i literally had one client and it's five o'clock now i think i'm gonna make myself a little chai latte and have a little snack and maybe watch a youtube video on the couch before i go to acupuncture but i just talked to the pharmacist and my request got approved yay so i'll go back in a couple days to get the extra 
boxes of my migraine prescription and I'll be good to go. I should be good for a few months after that. So that's awesome. Yay. Hey y'all, happy Friday. It might be a little loud, so I hope you can hear me, but I just dropped my car off for the inspection and it is a gorgeous day. I don't understand this weather because literally like two or three days ago, it was 30 degrees and snowy and now it's sunny degrees and 70 degrees and sunny. I feel like I'm in Miami already, love that for me. But I just dropped the car, like I said, and now I have to walk a few blocks over to downtown Rockville where I'm gonna catch the bus. Um, I could catch it across the street at the metro station, but I do need to go use the restroom at Starbucks and I'm not gonna make it home if I don't do that first. So I'm gonna walk a couple blocks over to the next stop to do that and then get on the bus. And it's like a straight shot back to my house. So that's really convenient. And that's also one of the other reasons I wanted to bring it here. Aside from the fact that he's not charging me for the inspection, which is clutch. But I am an idiot because I took my gym bag out of my trunk so that in case I can't get the car today, I'll have my gym stuff to go tonight. And I also brought my spare key instead of my normal, um, my normal set of keys, which has my AirPods attached. So I have no headphones at all for this walk and the bus ride home, which is going to be super annoying. But hopefully it's okay and at one, it's like 12 30 ish now at one i have a phone consultation with a new client so either i'll be on the bus and do that or get home and do that hopefully i don't die of boredom on the way home but yeah it's a good day overall i'm happy that it's sunny out Hey y'all, happy Saturday. It is a very gray and kind of like sleepy day here today. It started off really sunny this morning, which was really annoying because I went to sleep way too late last night. I wanted to sleep in, but then I couldn't. And now I'm tired and now I need a nap, but I will stop my complaining to kind of give you guys an update, which is why I'm filming this in the first place. Um, I went to go pick up my car a couple hours ago. It was ready a lot earlier than I thought it would be, which is great and the total came to 740 which is definitely a little a good little chunk of change <laughs> but honestly it could have been way worse and also i just feel like it's worth the money to make sure that i don't break down on the way down to florida and i get there safely and that my car you know runs for a good little bit of time after i get there too i've had this car for almost four years and i paid it off two years ago the car is a 2015, so it's not like super old, but it's definitely getting on the older side. And I just feel like between all the moving costs and settling into my new job and trying to like build my income up. And then, you know, later next year, or not later next year, in like 14 months after I move my lease is up, I'll be trying to probably buy a property. So I just hope that if my car does die and I have to get a new one, that it's like at a non-inconvenient time which knock on wood you never know i feel like those things never happen at convenient times but at least i kind of will have the foresight to know like at some point it might happen i'm hoping i can drive it until that happens i don't want to have to deal with like selling it and dealing with getting a new one it's just such a hassle and honestly the interest rates just suck for everything and i think it's not a good market to buy a car so all that's to say, I am feeling okay about the cost of it. And I'm grateful that, you know, I have the money to do that. I obviously have been like prepared to use a lot of my savings for this move and for it to cost a lot. So it's just par for the course. Um, and I'm grateful that I'll have a safe car. When it comes to expenses though, pro tip, if you have good credit, and you're reliable enough to pay your credit cards on time and not rack up a lot of debt open up a new card before you move because there's a lot of expenses and you want to be able to like get something out of it so basically i have like several credit cards that i've gotten for the sign up bonus and you know most of them i still use um for different things i don't use all of them all the time 
I have like my primary one but I still do use all of them and you rack up points and like rewards over time but most credit cards have like decent sign up bonuses so if you kind of like shop around and know which ones to get you can like really get a lot of money or rewards that kind of are like worth money by spending a certain amount in the first few months so this one I just signed up for is a Chase Inc business unlimited card so i'm using it as like my business card for my like therapy and then also like content stuff that's like um on a contractor basis so i mean you can use it for other stuff too but that's like what i basically am using it for and i was able to get the sign up bonus of 900 dollars cash back if you spend six grand in the first three months so obviously that's not a normal spend for me but since I'm moving and there are so many costs associated with moving, I wanted to plan ahead and make sure that if I'm going to be spending that much money that I'm getting something out of it. So that's what I did. I got the card and I put the car stuff on that card. So I'm already working my way up to that 6000 and I have a few other things that I know are going to get me there probably within a month. I don't even think I'll need three months. So I highly recommend doing that if you feel like you're responsible enough to do so and if you already have decent enough credit to get approved and want to build some credit too. I will put a link below with my referral for that card and the other cards I use just because obviously if you're interested in opening up a card you don't need my referral but this way I can kind of tell you guys which ones I like and then if you're interested then obviously i get some points as well so win win we all win around here um however when i went to the dealership i had to go not the dealership the mechanic i had to um have my brother drive me because he also needed to get his battery replaced but apparently there was a couple other things that needed to be replaced too so even though we sat there waiting for like 40 minutes we ended up having to leave his car so i think i'm gonna have to go back kind of soon to bring him to his car and i'm just kind of annoyed because i was like happy that i got the car stuff out of the way early in the day so i can eat and take a nap do my nails for my going away dinner tonight and now i don't know if i'm gonna have time to do my nails because it's already like three o'clock and i haven't even taken a nap and the dinner's at 6 30. so i'm gonna see if i can try nap a little bit and then see where we're at with the other stuff and I'll keep you posted but I'm excited for this going away dinner tonight it's just gonna be me and two friends because my other friend who's one of my closest friends here is due on the day of my like lease start day on February 8th and she's like about to pop so I don't think it's safe for her to drive like an hour up to DC from where she lives and honestly I just don't want her to like deal with all that I already saw her a few weeks ago for her birthday so I'm sad she won't be there, but I'm excited to see my other friends and I'm excited to check out this restaurant that just opened in DC. So obviously I'll take you all along with me, but let me go see if I can take a little nap first. Okay, nothing too exciting to report. It is a few hours later. I did take a little bit of a nap. I did not do my nails and it is five o'clock now. So I need to start getting ready, doing my makeup to go to this dinner. My hair is done because I did it last night, thankfully. So don't need to worry about that, but I do need to do my makeup and get dressed and jewelry and always ends up taking longer than I think it's going to. And I don't want to be rushing to get to DC. So I'm going to start getting ready now. Um, but my little brother's car just became ready. So I'm not going to be able to take him back. My mom's going to take him. Since obviously I don't have time to do that. And another kind of update is that I decided to try and go find some more like boxes to pack and move my stuff like to ship because initially when I thought I was going to use a moving truck I was just going to keep everything in the plastic bins like I mentioned in one of my last videos but since I'm not doing that I obviously need cardboard boxes and they cost a lot of money I don't know if you've ever had to move but that adds up and it seems like such a waste since you literally just get rid of them after and I've been putting aside some bigger Amazon boxes from like my orders, my family's orders, but it's not enough. I have a lot of shit and I, again, don't want to pay for the boxes. So I've been going online or I just went online just now on like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace looking for free boxes because I know in the past there's like tons and tons of posting giving away boxes. And I was surprised to find that not only are people 
like jacking up prices to sell the moving boxes at like three, five, or even $10 each, which is literally more than they cost brand new. But people are selling their like Amazon boxes. People are really down bad lately. Like that's really sad. <laughs> so yeah, not gonna go that route, but I did just call Barnes & Noble and they said that if I come like Monday or Tuesday when they have a shipment in, that they'll give me the boxes. So nice little life hack. If you're ever moving and you need boxes, then just go to a store and ask them for their fucking boxes. Cause what are they gonna do? They just get rid of them anyways. And they're not gonna try and sell them to you. If you are the kind of person that's selling their boxes because they're that down bad, good luck to you, but what a sad world we live in. <laughs> so I'm going to go get ready now. I'll show you guys a final look as I'm heading out. And then of course, I'll take you guys to dinner with me. I don't know how much I'll be like talking the rest of this vlog. So if I don't say goodbye later, um, thank you for watching this vlog up till now. Hopefully you stick around for the end of it. Make sure if you haven't yet already that you subscribe. And make sure you also follow me on Instagram. This is my handle. I'm going to be posting a lot more um, after I move. So my feed and everything will be a lot more interesting. So if you're not already following, come join the community. We're going to have a little family now. So keep on watching, but I'll definitely see you guys in more vlogs coming up soon. Here is the final look. It's 5.45, so I need to leave, but I'm gonna show you in the mirror first before I head out. So I got this like Skims dupe dress on Amazon. I will link it in my storefront if anyone's interested. This is also from Amazon, the drop from a couple years ago. Don't know if it's still available. And then these like basic beige booties are from Lulu's also a couple years ago. They may or may not have them, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah you guys saw the makeup and the hair so i'm ready to go and because it was warmer today i'm probably just gonna bring a little cropped beige corduroy puffer just because i want something over and i think it might rain later which sucks so i'm gonna bring an umbrella too but time to head out and i'll see y'all at dinner